The 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 11 These were the days of Restania, when Kaima and Dwemer lived under the wise and benevolent rule of the Elm Sivi and their champion, the Hortator, when the gods of Veleth would retreat unto their own to mold the cosmos and other matters. The Hortator would at times become confused. Vivek would always be there to advise him, and this is the first of the free lessons of ruling kings. The waking world is the amnesia of dream. All motives can be mortally wounded. Once slain, themes turn into the structure of future nostalgia. Do not abuse your powers, or they will lead you astray. They will leave you like rebellious daughters. They will lose their virtue. They will become lost and resentful, and finally become pregnant with the seed of folly. Soon, you will be the grandparent of a broken state. You will be mocked. It will fall apart like a stone that recalls that it is really water. Keep nothing in your house that is neither needed or beautiful. Ordeals you should face unimpeded by the world of restriction. The splendor of stars is Iam's domain. The selfishness of the sea is Set's. I rule the middle air. All else is earth and under your temporal command. There is no bone that cannot be broken except for the heart bone. You will see it twice in your lifetime. Take what you can the first time, and let us do the rest. There is no true symbolism of the center. The Sharmat will believe there is. He will feel that he can cause years of exuberance from sitting in the sacred, when really, no one can leave that state and cause anything more but strife. There is once more the case of the symbolic and barren. The true prince that is cursed and demonized will be adored at last with full hearts. According to the codes of Mephala, there can be no official art, only fixation. Points of complexity that will erase from the awe of the people given enough time. There is a secret that hides another. An impersonal survival is not the way of the ruling king. Embrace the art of the people and marry it, and by that I mean secretly have it murdered. The ruling king that sees in another his equivalent rules nothing. The secret of weapons is this, they are the mercy seat. The secret of language is this, it is immobile. The ruling king is armored head to toe in brilliant flame. He is redeemed by each act he undertakes. His death is only a diagram back to the waking world. He sleeps the second way. The Sharmat is his double. And therefore, you wonder if you rule nothing. Hortator and Sharmat. One and one. Eleven. An inelegant number. Which of the ones is the more important? Could you ever tell if they switched places? I can. And that is why you will need me. According to the codes of Mephala, there is no difference between the theorist and the terrorist. Even the most cherished desire disappears in their hands. This is why Mephala has black hands. Bring both of yours to every argument. The one-handed king finds no remedy. When you approach God, however, cut both of them off. God has no need of fury, and he is armored head to toe in terror. The ending of the words is Alm Sivi. Sermon 12 As the Hortator pondered the first lesson of ruling kings, Vivek wandered into the morning hold and found that Iam was with a pair of lovers. Set had divided himself again. Vivek then leapt through into their likeness to observe, but he gained no secrets that he did not already know. He left a few of his own behind to make the journey worthwhile. 
Then Vivek left the capital of Velef and wandered far into the ash. He found a span of badlands to practice his giant form. He made of his feet a less dense material than the divine to keep from falling waist deep into the earth. At this point, the first corner of the House of Troubles, the Prince Mulak Bal, made his presence known. Vivek looked on the King of Rape and said, How very beautiful you are that you do not join us. And Mulak Bal crushed the warrior poet's feet, which were not invulnerable and had legions cleave them off. Mighty fires from the beginning place were brought like nets to hold Vivek and he led them. I would prefer, he said, some kind of ceremony if we are to be married and the legions that took the feet were summoned again and ordered to begin a banquet. Pomegranates sprang from the badlands and tents were raised. A throng of Olofi mystics came, reading the passages of the severed feet on the ground and weeping until the scriptures were wet. We must love each other briefly, Vivek said, if at all. I am needed to counsel the Hortator in more important matters because the Duomiri High Priests stir up trouble. You may have my head for an hour. Molag Bal rose up and extended six arms to show his worth. They were decorated in runes of seduction and its reverse. They were decorated in the annotated calendars of longer worlds. When he spoke, mating monsters fell out. Where must it go, he said. I told you, Vivek said. I am meant to be the teacher of the king of the earth. I, Altadun, Gartok, part home. With these magic words, the king of rape added another. Jim, which is the secret syllable of royalty. Vivek had what he needed from the Daedra, and so married him that day. In the hour that Bal had his head, the King of Rape asked for proof of love. Vivek spoke two poems to show him such, but only the first is known. I am not sure just how much glass it took to make your hair twice as much. I am sure, as the oceans have to share hell, my sweet. It's a fiction written by those who tell the truth. My mouth is skilled at lying, and its alibi a tooth. The sons and daughters of Vivek and Molag Bal number in the thousands. The name of the mightiest is a string of power. Gulga Morgil, he at I whom. The ending of the words is Alm Sivi. Sermon 13 these were the days of Resdania, when Kaima and Dwema lived under the wise and benevolent rule of the Almsivi and their champion, the Hortator, when the gods of Velev would retreat unto their own to mold the cosmos and other matters. The Hortator would at times become confused. Vivek would always be there to advise him. And this is the second of the free lessons of ruling kings. The secret syllable of royalty is this. You must learn this elsewhere. The temporal myth is man. The magical cross is an integration of the worth of mortals at the expense of their spirits. Surround it with the triangle and you begin to see the triune house. It becomes divided into corners, which are ruled by our brethren. The four corners, Bal, Dagon, Malak, Sheog, rotate the triangle and you pierce the heart of the beginning place, the foul lie, the testament of the irrefutable for a span. Above them all is the horizon where only one stands. Though no one stands there yet, it is proof of the new. It is the promise of the wise. Unfold the whole, and what you have is a star. 
which is not my domain, but not entirely outside my judgment. The grand design takes flight. It is transformed not only into a star, but a hornet. The center cannot hold. It becomes devoid of lines and points. It becomes devoid of anything, and so becomes a receptacle. This is its usefulness at the end. This is its promise. The sword is a cross, and Elm Civi is the triune house around it. If there is to be an end, I must be removed. The ruling king must know this, and I will test him. I will murder him time and again until he knows this. I am the defender of the last and the last. To remove me is to refill the heart that lay dormant at the center that cannot hold. I am the sword. I am the star. Set the mechanism that allows the transformation of the world. Ours is the duty to keep the compromise from being filled with Black Sea. The Sharmat sleeps at the center. He cannot bear to see it removed. The world of reference. This is the folly of the false dreamer. This is the amnesia of dream, or its power, or its circumvention. This is the weaker magic, and it is barbed in venom. This is why I say the secret to swords is the mercy seat. It is my throne. I am become the voice of Elm Sivy. The world will know me more than my sister and brother. I am the psychopomp. I am the killer of the weeds of Velof. Velof is the center that cannot hold. I am is the plot. Set is the ending. I am the enigma that must be removed. These are why my words are armed to the teeth. The ruling king is to stand against me and then before me. He is to learn from my punishment. I will mark him to know. He is to come as male or female. I am the form he must acquire. Because a ruling king that sees in another his equivalent rules nothing. That is what was said to the Hortator when Vivek was not whole. The ending of the words is Alm Sivi. Sermon 14 Vivek lay with Molag Bal for eighty days and eight, though headless. In that time, the prince placed the warrior poet's feet back and filled them with the blood of Daedra. In this way, Vivek's giant form remained forever harmless to good earth. The pomegranate banquet brought many spirits back from the dead, so that the sons and daughters of the Union had much to eat besides fruit. The Duke of Scamps came while the banquet was still underway, and Molag Bal looked on the seven penance with anger. The King of Rape had become necessary and therefore troubled for the rest of time. His legions and kuatas fell into open war, but the children of Molag Bal and Vivek were too elaborate in power and form. The Duke of Scamps, therefore, became a lesser thing, as did all his own children. Molag Bal said to them, You are the sons of liars, dogs, and wolf-headed women. They have been useless to summon ever since. The Holy One returned at last, Vec, golden with wisdom. His head found its body had been tenderly used. He mentioned this to Molag Bal, who told him that he should thank the barons of move like this, for I have yet to learn how to refine my rapture. My love is accidentally shaped like a spear. So Vivek, who had a grain of Iam's mercy, set about to teach Molag Bal in the ways of belly magic. They took their spears out and compared them. Vivek bit new words onto the King of Rapes, so that it might give more than ruin to the uninitiated. This has since become a forbidden ritual, though people still practice it in secret. Here is why. 
the Velofi and demons and monsters that were watching all took out their own spears. There was much biting, and the earth became wet, and this was the last laugh of Molak Bal. Watch as the earth shall crack, heavy with so much power, that should have been forever unalike. Then that stretch of badlands that had been the site of the marriage fragmented and threw fire, and a race that is no more but that was terrible at the time to behold came forth, born of the biters, that is all they did, and they ran amok across the lands of Veloth, and even to the shores of Red Mountain. But Vivek made of his spear a more terrible thing, from a secret he had bitten off from the King of Rape. And so he sent Molagbal tumbling into the crack of the biters, and swore forever that he would not deem the King beautiful ever again. Vivek wept, as he slew all those around him with his terrible new spear. He named it Moatra, which is Milk Taker, and even the Chimeri mystics knew his fury. Anyone struck by Vivek at this time turned barren and withered into bone shapes. The path of bones became a sentence for the stars to read and the heavens have never known children since. Vivek hunted down the biters one by one, and all their progeny, and he killed them all by means of the nine apertures, and the wise still hide theirs from Muatra. The ending of the words is Elm Sivi. Sermon 15 these were the days of Resdania when Kaima and Dwemer lived under the wise and benevolent rule of the Alm Sivi and their champion, the Hortator. When the gods of Velov would retreat unto their own to mold the cosmos and other matters, the Hortator would at times become confused. Vivek would always be there to advise him, and this is the third of the free lessons of ruling king. The ruling king will remove me, his maker. This is the way of all children. His greatest enemy is the Sharmat, who is the false dreamer. You or he is the shingle, Hortator. Beware the wrong walking path. Beware the crime of benevolence. Behold him by his words. I am the Sharmat. I am older than music. What I bring is light, what I bring is a star, what I bring is an ancient sea. When you sleep, you see me dancing at the core. It is not a blight, it is my house. I put a star into the world's mouth. To murder it, tear down the pylons. My blind fish. Swim in the new phlogiston. Tear down the pylons. My deaf moons, sing and burn and orbit me. I am older than music. What I bring is light, what I bring is a star, what I bring is an ancient sea. You alone, though you come again and again, can unmake him. Whether I allow it is within my wisdom. Go unarmed into his den with these words of power. I, Gartok, pad home, Jim, I, Altadun, or do not. The temporal myth is man, reach heaven by violence. This magic I give to you. The world you will rule is only an intermittent hope, and you must be the letter written in uncertainty. The ending of the words is Alm Sivi.